I'm delighted to say that Giovanna is here now. Now, <laughs> for godparents, for aunties, for friends, for mums, I feel like all of the chapters in your book are the subjects of our daily conversations. <laughs> I mean, should children be allowed on planes? Should you share a bed? Should you get... I love getting my baps out. That's yeah, <laughs> a lot of uh, them are boob-related, to be fair. That's life with a baby, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning for yeah. you. And going into labour with Buzz, it was a star-studded affair, wasn't it? It was. It was Danny Jones's uh, birthday. I think it was, it was his 30. It was his birthday anyway. And we uh, were in East London and having a nice uh, swanky dinner at a steak restaurant. And uh, it's one of those things you kind of drive there and you're like, wouldn't it be funny if? Because I was still like three weeks before uh, my due date. And uh, I went to the loo. I thought, oh, something doesn't quite feel right. So I went back to the table and uh, Emma was there and Willis. And she was like, you OK? I was like, I think my waters might have broke. And because it's the first time around, you're a bit like, what is that? Have I yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because I was waiting for this big, you know, TMI. And also, if, if people don't like a bit of TMI, they're not going to like this book. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so the whole of McFly were at dinner? Yeah. When your waters broke? Yeah. And, and to be honest, because I was hit with birthing, I was really, really calm. So I was like, OK, I'm going to stay. I'm going to have my steak. I'm going to see <laughs> what happens, how this plays out. And whereas Harry was there, like, should we get towels? Should we call an ambulance? What should we do? What should we do? There's pure panic, because none of us had ever... Well, obviously, Emma and uh, Matt had gone through it a lot, so they were kind of, like, nice and calm. Um, and yeah. boys panic, don't they, bless them, they in my do. experience. Yeah. Because yeah. in their head, they think it's going to be, like, casualty or coronation <laughs> yeah. street, and they arrive in an hour in yeah. a lift. Yeah. Sadly, not the case. But that's, for us, it was amazing that we did hit with birthing, because Tom was kind of... He had his role to play in it. He was nice and calm. So, uh, yeah. I and mean, we ate did, a lot of jelly babies, to be fair. Did you find hypnobirthing successful? I loved it. Definitely. I've done it twice and yeah. So it's basically about a mindset that encourages you to avoid pain relief. I did all the classes, but 13 hours in, I was oh, yeah, but grabbing the midwife yeah, on yeah, the yeah. skin of the neck. <laughs> did you find yourself calmer at the start? Like, did you feel like, did it help in any way? Um, I want to say yes. Good luck, anyone who's doing hit <laughs> no, That's the thing, though, because we're all so different, and I think it's just about accepting whatever happens. It's, it happens. Because I know that some people, they end up having an emergency... Like, my sister ended up having an emergency C-section because little Summer Ray had her head stuck up in her ribs. Uh, and it's, I think it's just about being accepting of it and, you know... And yeah. I think you've hit the nail on the head. Everybody is different. Yeah. There is no right answer. And you've been very conscious to say this isn't an advice book. This no. is just an account of what happened yeah. to me, including breastfeeding. Works for some people, doesn't work for others. No exactly. right or wrong. I don't think. I think we're just far too judging, and we're told straight away there's a right way to do everything. There's a right way to get pregnant. There's a right way to give birth. There's a right way to feed a child. There's a right way to put them in nappies. Literally, the first three weeks, I was like, I've always been maternal, but actually, I am not maternal. I'm not made out. I'm not cut out for this motherhood thing. It's a new thing. I would confess it's probably the wrong way to breastfeed is at a rugby league match in Wakefield. <laughs> while Same, husband... backstage, yeah. Backstage, I would like it because that boobs out everywhere. He just got used to me rocking him to sleep. So when we got home three weeks later, he was like, what are you doing? Why aren't you going to why aren't you gonna rock me to sleep now, Mum? And then he just didn't want to be away from me because he spent three weeks in, like, one hotel room with me. Uh, and so then, yeah, he did start coming into, coming into our bed. But he pinches. It, it sounds heavenly, but he's, it's like a comfort thing, so he'll get right in there. And so I'll try and snuggle up under the duvet and be like, don't pinch me, don't pinch me. And then he'll grab the little bits on my neck. So it's not, yeah, it's just a comfort thing for him. Children on a flight, you mentioned there. Yeah, when I actually got on a flight, because I was like, I'm going to get on this flight and everyone's going to hate me. They're really, you know, they're going to be against me from the start. And it was a long flight, and, uh, and so he fell asleep. But this was just with Buzz, because uh, I was meeting Tom in Australia. And, uh, and I was it's a big old flight, though. I mean, it's not a weekend in Marbella, is it? No, no. Uh, but I had two of them at Flywise with me, and I had Izzy in Georgia, and he fell asleep, so I put him down this, like, cot thing that they have on the flight, and there's this seatbelt thing over him. Looks really secure. They can stay there doing turbulence and everything. Uh, but obviously, when he woke up, he had this, like... He was under a cage thing, so he completely freaked <laughs> out. And then he started crying. I thought, it, it started too well. And, uh, and then he started crying, and then I spent another half hour trying to get him to go back to sleep again. As soon as I laid, laid, laid him back down, he woke up again and started screaming and all I could think I just was having this like these mum sweats because I was like everyone's looking around they're judging and waking everyone up uh, so I had to cry and uh, Izzy took him off me for about 30 seconds and I was like pull yourself together if he wants to sleep on you he can sleep on you and the rest of the flight was fine Giovanna, I'm sure Victoria Beckham gets off the flight with those glasses on, but I'm sure <laughs> what was happening on the yeah. plane was a little bit more chaotic yeah. when her kids were little. Thank you so much for coming oh, in to talk to you. us. Check out the book if you're anywhere near kids, because as you say, it will make you feel like you're a normal human. Yeah, we're all in it together.